Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Turns out Android 13 might have a few tricks up its sleeve, like the ability to run Windows 11. Kinda. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, yes, Windows 11 is running on Android. Yes, it's not optimized yet. Yes, it's completely different than the Renegade project, which I just talked about the other day. And yes, this looks promising. Now I'll do my best to keep this at a pretty high level. K-Dragon on Twitter accomplished something that got a lot of people in the tech world talking. They had a Google Pixel 6, a developer preview version of Android 13, that's what the DP stands for, and KVM, which stands for Kernel-Based Virtual Machine. KVM is new for Android 13. It's normal in Linux, but this is the first time it's been on Android. So with a lot of tinkering around, KDragon was able to use this new feature to get Windows 11 booting as a virtual machine on their Google Pixel 6. To be clear here, this is not your standard desktop version of Windows. This is the ARM version of Windows, which can be found in products like the Surface Pro. On top of that, performance I would say is not near optimized just yet. There are some major issues. For example, hardware acceleration for your GPU is not supported. As far as I know here, this is only currently compatible with the Google Pixel 6, and you will need to root your device in order to get this to work. And no, it's not necessarily simple to set up either. And for those curious, yes, you can play games on this. K-Dragon got Doom up and running, and from what I can see here, it looks to be running pretty darn smoothly. I wouldn't necessarily expect anything like GTA 5 anytime soon though. So after hearing all of that, you might be asking yourself, or asking me rather, what does this mean for you? And the answer is not really a whole lot just yet. It is still far too early. I would argue that Project Renegade, or the Renegade project is a little bit further down the line in getting Windows 11 up and running on your Android device. But this looks good for the future. I am being hopeful here. I am hoping that one day, possibly, we can have Windows and Android on one device. I think that might get rid of the need for PCs for some people and make an already incredibly handy device even handier. Anyways, that is all I've got for this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about Windows 11 on Android in the comments below. Are you interested in it? Are you not interested in it? Are you already trying it out? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.